How's it going? Thursday, December 28th, 2023. Got the day and the date right. Best baseball player, 1961. Unique year in the history of baseball. Why? Remember the Bambino, 60 homers, 1927? We covered that video. Guess who wins best player in 1961? A guy named Roger Maris. He's not in the Hall of Fame. But he had quite a year that year. Let's look at it. He won three categories. Home runs, 61. That breaks Babe Ruth, 60. You know, the Babe said that. Let's see somebody else do it. And it took a while. It took about 30, 34 years. You had a guy named Roger Maris hit 61 home runs in 1961. Runs scored 132 and total bases 366. So he wins three categories. Nobody else had more. Norm Cash had the batting title, Veda Pinson. Had the most hits. You know, Veda Pinson should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know why he's not. What's going on with the writers? Jack Wood had the triples. Al Kaline's coming up. Had the doubles. Veda Pinson, the singles. So Veda had two, two categories, or two. But Roger Maris had three. Orlando Cepeda runs batted in. Mickey Mantle on the slugging, Norm Cash, he had two categories. He had the batting average, and he had the on-base. Mickey Mantle, two categories. So Pinson, Mantle, and Cash all had two categories, but Roger Maris, this is his year. Three years. Stolen bases, Louis Aparicio. Let's look at 1961. Who is this guy? Roger Maris. He came up into the big leagues, 1957, 22 years old, 14 homers. Next year, hit 28. 1959, he hit 16. So, really can't consider him an all-star yet. But 1960, kind of broke out. 39 homers, 112 RBIs. 25 years old. But then in 1961, he plays 161 games. Has 132 runs scored, 159 hits, 16 doubles, and he hits 61 homers and 141 RBIs. How about that? 61. You know, up to that time... Only Babe had 60 homers, and then just a couple guys had more than 50. Fox, Jimmy Fox, Babe Ruth four times. Hank Greenberg hit over 50. Hack Wilson hit over 50. So 50 was the number if you were really good, and then 60 was the standout number. We, we all remember this, 1927. And nobody could get to that mark even before 1927 or even up to 1960. But 1961, Roger Maris, 26 years old, in his prime. And the last day of the season, I believe, he hit number 61. Now there's the old uh, asterisk argument. I don't like it. What does the asterisk mean? Well, Babe did it in a 154-game season. And Roger Maris does it in a 162-game season, indicating that Roger Maris had eight more games to get to 61. Let's look at Babe Ruth. Let's see. How many games did he play in 1927? I'll get it right here. 1927. I want to see. I want to compare the games played. 1927. Babe Ruth 
Did you know he played 151 games and hit the 60? Roger Maris hit 106, hit 61 home runs, but he played in 161 games. That's 10 more games. You think Babe, if he had 10 more games, would have hit more than 60? I think so. He probably would have hit maybe three, four, or five more. Could have been up to 63, 64, 65 homers. But I don't like the asterisk next to Roger Maris. I don't like that. Whatever the season is and whatever games are played, Roger Maris, up in 1961, sets the record. 61 home runs. You know, maybe Babe goes 0 for 10 in those games. 0 for 10, I mean, as far as hitting home runs. So we don't know. But we got to give credit for Roger Maris hitting 61 home runs, no matter how many games in the season. So forget the asterisk. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. How about Roger Maris? One thing about his uh, 1961 season I don't like. He hit 269. Not good. He did lead in total bases, 366. So he leads in RBIs, home runs, and total bases, but not the batting average. 269. He only had 159 hits. But this is, it wasn't a matter of the walks. He only walked 94 times. Let's compare Babe Ruth's 1927 season. Babe had 192 hits. 60 homers, 165 RBI, and he walked 137 times. Maris, about 94. It's about 40 more walks for the Babe. And listen to this. Babe hit 356 in that year. He had 417 total bases. So, I like Roger Maris hitting the 61 homers and 141 RBIs. I don't like his average at 269. Compare that with Babe. 60 homers for Babe, 165 RBI, and a 356 batting average. So, comparing the two sluggers, who's better? Well, Babe Ruth's better. But I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Roger Maris. 26 years old, breaks Babe Ruth's record of 60 homers by hitting 61. What a year! All right, in the books, 1961. 1962, who's coming up? Who's playing good? Who wins it? Stay tuned. I'm out.